today we are going to be decluttering oh my god this box is huge foundations there are over 40 I repeat 40 complexion products in here ranging from skin tint to full coverage foundations to tinted moisturizers uh yeah nobody needs this many complexion products. There is no way I will ever use all of this. So it is time to clean house and say goodbye to the duds and the things that I just don't use. Seeing this all in front of me like this is kind of a wake up call to the amount of waste that happens here within the cosmetic industry. I need to be a little bit more choosy about the products that I'm not only testing, but that I am actually choosing to just purchase on my own. We're just gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna pick up the first product that I see right on top. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation, up to 24 hours of wear, and I have mine in the shade 40WY. This, for one, is just a bit too dark for me, and to be completely honest, I don't love this foundation. I did do a review on this product, and after I reviewed it, I only reached for it a handful of times. The formula is just a bit too matte for me, doesn't really offer enough coverage with my skin, I should say my skin type because I do have such dry skin. If a product is matte and doesn't really offer enough coverage, it makes my skin look really, really bad. So I have to do a lot of prep with this product. It really only works for me in the warmer months. And like I said, I just don't reach for it. So it is time to let go of this product. I'm just going to set them all behind me. We're gonna do that. Let's see, what do I have next here? This is something from Studio Makeup. This is a tinted moisturizer. I think I actually got this in a subscription box and the shade is just way too dark for me. Does it even say what shade this is? It doesn't even say what it is on the bottle. I have no idea what shade this is. I just know that it is just too dark for me so there is no point in me holding on to this product. It's definitely going in the bye-bye pile. The Huda Beauty Faux Filter Stick Foundations. This is actually a favorite of mine. I I love this product. This looks so natural and beautiful on the skin. If you just want your makeup to just look effortless, gives you the perfect amount of like medium coverage, isn't too dewy, isn't too matte, just really truly gives you like that natural skin finish, definitely give this foundation a try. It is easily one of my favorite favorite foundations. It really does look like a faux filter on the skin. It is absolutely stunning, so we are holding on to that one. From Dermablend, we have the Continuous Correction Full Coverage CC Cream, and this one does have an SPF of 50 in it. I actually really did enjoy this product. It does give you a crap ton of wear, and it is awesome that it does have an SPF 50 in it. This is going to be a product where the SPF is definitely enough in it, so you don't need to add any other extra extra SPF. I think I am going to hold on to this one a little bit longer just because the warmer months are coming. It does have very long wear time and it does offer an incredible amount of coverage. This I definitely was very impressed with when I tried it, so I am going to hold on to that one. Oh, Tom Ford. This is the Flawless Glow Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I actually think this product is discontinued and I'll be totally honest with you, it is a damn shame. I think I paid like 90 bucks for this, but let me tell you, this made my skin look absolutely beautiful. For the longest time, this is actually what I would put on when I went to work. It's a very light coverage product, but it just made your skin look so effortlessly beautiful. This is hands down one of the best like light coverage tint products I've ever used. It does have a dropper. I want to show you guys quickly. Again, I know you can't really get this product anymore, but I'm going to hold on to it. It doesn't smell weird or anything because it is, it's just so good. I'm just not really ready yet to let it go. It doesn't look like it's separating or anything. It is a couple of years old, I know, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to it. From Catrice, we have the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This foundation isn't bad, but I don't love it. I've tried it a couple times and I've just never reached for it again. So I am gonna go ahead and let this one go. It is just a little bit too matte for me and I am all about the dewy products because like I said, I know I sound like a broken record, your girl has very dry skin, so this one needs to go bye-bye. From the Sephora collection, we have the Weekend Warrior Tone Up Cream. I loved this product when it launched and I was actually kind of surprised that no one was really talking about it. This was like one of the first products that you could like put on your skin that was slightly tinted, but gave you a really beautiful blur to the skin. Unfortunately though, I just haven't reached for it. I was obsessed 
messed with it for like a year, kind of got shoved in the back of my pile, and I have other products now that do something very similar that I do like even more. So I'm gonna go ahead and let go of this guy. From Merit Beauty, this is the Perfecting Complexion Stick. I am actually a huge fan of this product. This looks beautiful on the skin. Merit Beauty is almost like the bougie sister to Glossier. I know Glossier is expensive. I don't know. Maybe these are like the same price. I don't know. But this is like the Glossier of Sephora, so to speak. I love so many of their products and I really love this foundation stick. I just got it recently. I do reach for it actually quite often. So that is one I am definitely holding on to. Coveted Born This Way undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation. I loved this foundation for a very, very, very long time. In the early stages of my YouTube channel, this was a foundation that I did reach for quite often, and I actually do quite enjoy it still. This is newer. I actually just picked this bottle up not too long ago. This one I do think I am going to hold on to because I really do enjoy the coverage that it gives, and it looks so beautiful on my skin in the summertime. In the wintertime, can be a little bit cakey, but in the warmer months, mm, so good. I love it. This is a product from Cover Effects, the Luminous Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Fair Light. I honestly wasn't really impressed with this product all too much. I tried it a couple of times and it almost reminded me of the CoverGirl, that new clean tint they came out with a year or two ago. It looked atrocious on my skin. This didn't look that bad, but it just didn't do enough for me, which is kind of disappointing because I really am a fan of Cover Effects and I like the ingredients that they use, but this just isn't for me. So this one I am going to let go of. It Cosmetics, the Your Skin But Better Foundation But Skin Care. I've talked about this so much on my channel. I am not going to spend a lot of time on this one. This is hands down one of my all-time favorite foundations. This is one I am definitely keeping 100% without a doubt. Here's another one that I've never actually tried before from Origins. This is the Pretty in Bloom SPF 20 Longwear Foundation. Now what's intriguing to me is that this is describing itself as a long wear. And it also says that it is flower infused. It has an SPF of 20 and it actually has a mineral SPF. This one, I think I do wanna hold on to and try. I haven't really tried much from Origins before or really if anything at all. So I think I'll hold on to this one and try it. Let me know if you guys wanna see like a dedicated review or like a YouTube short or TikTok or something on that one if you've been curious about it. From Uoma Beauty, I hope I'm saying this correctly. This is the Weightless Soft matte hydrating foundation. That really intrigued me and I saw Rose and Ben try this out. I was really intrigued by the hydrating, weightless, yet soft matte finish of this. I actually did enjoy the way this looked on my skin for a matte foundation. I have only tried it a couple of times. I picked this up about two or three months ago, I think it was. So this one I do think I am gonna hold on to because I wanna play with it just a little bit more. Test it out, especially in the summer months. The shade is a bit dark for me right now, just a hair, so it could be a really good summertime foundation. Ah, Il Maquillage. This is their Woke Up Like This foundation. This is that foundation that you see all over freaking social media where they will demonstrate a foundation that just looks horrendous on the skin, and then they'll go in and be like, you will find your perfect match. Your perfect match is guaranteed, so I had to try it, obviously. I actually do enjoy this foundation, but I will be totally honest. I don't really reach for it that often. So I I don't know. This one I'm actually going to put in the maybe pile because mm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit undecided. I'm undecided on that one. We'll put her to the side for now. The Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundations. I have the standard self-refreshing oil-free and then I have the radiant lifting oil-free. These are two of my very favorite foundations of all time. I really do think that Shiseido has some of the very best high-end complexion products you can get. I am such a fan of this brand. These foundations right here are probably the most beautiful foundations when it comes to wear time. I swear to God, the longer you have these on your skin, the better they look. It's just magic. Like these are like science and magic in a bottle. I am obsessed with these, and yes, I'm going to say obsessed. They are not going anywhere. Definitely 100% without a doubt staying in my rotation. From Tarte, we have the Found Sealer Multitasking Foundation. This one is actually pretty good. I don't love it. It's not my favorite, 
but I think it's actually a pretty good foundation. However, I did recently pick up their Hydroflex Serum Foundation and their Shape Tape Cloud Coverage, I think it's called. This one I am gonna put in the maybe pile because of that, um, just because again, I am making room for newer products. I don't know if I'm totally ready to get rid of this product just yet because there are moments where I put this on my skin and I'm like, holy shit. That is a really good foundation. So I think we're gonna put another one over in the maybe pile. From NARS, we have the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It is going to be no surprise to those that watch my channel that I am definitely not doing away with this foundation. This is what I have on my skin today. It's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful foundation, full coverage, yet so hydrating and stunning on the skin. It's fantastic. To me, this can't be duped. I've seen people try to dupe this product. You can't. You, you just can't. This is so good. Definitely holding on to that one. We have from Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This I did not like at all. All. This made my skin look so dry. I did get it in the totally wrong color, as you can see. The odd thing is, is that this is described as the shade Warm, number three. Um, it is warm, but this is like the fairest foundation of all time, which I'm kind of bummed because sometimes when a foundation is too light for you, it actually makes the foundation look worse than it is. My sister is actually quite fair, so I think I am gonna hold on to this one for her. Technically, we're getting rid of it, I'm giving it away. So it's gonna go in the bye-bye pile technically, but I'm giving it to my sister. The L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. I ordered this off of Amazon after seeing several reviews of this on TikTok, and mine does not look like a balm. It looks like a mousse. So I have been very hesitant to put this on my skin. This is shade, what is this? This is light. Uh, for one, this looks a little bit more than light. This is more of like a medium tone to me. The consistency just looks way off. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I already know the shade is not going to work. It's way too neutral for me. This is gonna instantly pull pinky on me and it's just, it, it's just not meant to be. So this one is going bye-bye. We have the Rare Beauty Foundation. I don't remember what this is called. I actually really enjoyed this product, but it was a little bit dark on me. I do wanna try mixing in, I think it's the LA Girl White Foundation Mix that you can put in. Have you guys seen those before, those color correctors? Are they color correctors? I don't know what the hell they're called. They can help better match your foundation to your skin. This, I do wanna try that with. I have been meaning to, I haven't done it yet. I really, really, really did like this foundation. So this is one I am going to hold on to. From Bobbi Brown, we have the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, full coverage in SPF 15. I actually didn't really find this product to be very full coverage and I actually really didn't like the way that this looked on my skin. It was a bit too mattifying and drying. So it is a very, easy pass for me. Next we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Classic Ivory. I should be telling you guys what all the shades are. So I apologize if there's been some that I haven't said. I just picked this up from Ulta. If you watched my recent Ulta haul, you'll see this make an appearance. I have been meaning to try this out again. I reviewed this product when it launched a couple of years ago and I haven't revisited it in over a year. So that is why I reordered this. So I am going to hold on to it. I remember really liking the formula. Another Catrice product. This is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I like this foundation, but I do not love it. It's just not my favorite. So this is another one that I am going to go ahead and let go of. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation, another one that is one of my all-time favorites. This would have to go in my top 10 foundations easily. This one is right up there with the Shiseido, with the NARS. I, I love this foundation. The only issue is that it is a tad dark for me and it does pull a little bit on the olive side. I definitely should have ordered something that was a little bit more warm yellow undertone versus the olive undertone. But again, I have those foundation mixers, color correctors, whatever the hell you call them. So I think this is another one that I'm going to experiment that with. So I am gonna hold on to it. All right, another NARS foundation. This is a new one that I just recently picked up. 
Again, if you watched my Ulta haul, you will see this foundation make an appearance. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation, and I have mine in the shade Fiji. This is L5 or Light 5. Love this foundation. Already obsessed. This is the most skin-like, effortless foundation I have ever used in my entire life. So that goes without saying that this one I'm definitely going to hang on to. Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I did do a dedicated review here on YouTube with a wear test with this product. I've already gone through quite a bit of this. Another one that I would rank right up there with the NARS, this is hands down one of the best complexion products I've ever used. So this one is not going anywhere and I have it in the shade 5 Neutral. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I really like this product, but I'm going to be honest with you, I do have tinted moisturizers that I reach for more than this one. I would never say this is a bad product. In fact, I definitely recommend it for the price, but I just I just don't reach for it anymore. So this one I am gonna go ahead and let go of, surprisingly enough. We have the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. This particular packaging, which I didn't know, is only available, I believe, is it Canada or the UK? I can't remember, but you can actually get this off Amazon. I did anyways. If I could find a link, I'll put it there because it is a total dupe for for the It Cosmetics foundation, but better. I mean, they actually even have like the same type of sheen to them. If you look up close, I don't know if the camera will catch it, but they kind of have like this gleam or glow in the bottle. I swear to God, the formula is almost the exact same. And it's no surprise because It Cosmetics is actually owned by L'Oreal. So with that being said, I will definitely be holding on to that foundation. Glossier, this is their Perfecting Skin Tint. I have mine in G10. I've actually only used this a couple of times. I do actually want to play with this some more. Maybe I've only even used this once. I wanted to do like a full face of Glossier and I just never did it. And I am all about the skin tints, especially in the summer months. And I've heard really good things about this formula. So I think I am. Yeah, that just feels really nice. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one because I do want to see for myself what it's like. The Tarte Amazonian Clay 16 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. This is one that they actually reformulated. I used to wear the original Amazonian Clay Foundation in the early days of my YouTube channel. I would actually mix jojoba oil in with it, almond oil, and I really did like it. But even back then, man, it was a little bit heavy and cakey. Of course, that was four and a half years ago and I had a lot less wrinkles and a lot less issues with my skin. This I do like. It's not my favorite foundation, but it's actually pretty good. If you want something that gives you like a natural matte finish that is like extremely long wearing, then I would definitely recommend this. The reformulation hands down is way better than the original formula, I will say that. But I will be honest with you guys, I think I might let this go. Another one from Tarte, we have the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. This one is in the shade Light Neutral. I actually really like this one and it's just a little travel size guy. So this one is another one that I think I will be holding on to because I am a huge fan. Give me all of the tinted moisturizers. Speaking of tints, we have the L'Oreal True Match Nude. This is the 1% Hyaluronic Acid. This went viral all over TikTok and for good reason. The only thing I will dock points off of on this one for is the applicator is absolute trash. It is so messy. I'm not even gonna open it up and show it to you guys because it will legitimately make a mess, but I love Love, love, love this product. So that is another one that is staying. The Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I really like this formula, but the shade of this is all wrong for me. I was contemplating purchasing another one of these, but I'm like, Crystal, you have so many tint products right now. You need to get through. I mean, I'm already looking at the pile that I'm keeping. I'm like, really, this is kind of unacceptable already, but I need to get through more. And like I said, this is just way too dark for me. So this one I am going to go ahead and let go of, unfortunately. The L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. You guys are going to be shocked. I'm going to get rid of these, but not for the reason that you're thinking. It's because they're really old. <laughs> I have had these for like two and a half years now and it is time to say goodbye. Cue Andrea Bocelli. Time to say goodbye. These need to go in the garbage bin. I've had these for so long. They're just dirty. They are so nasty. This is though, I will say one of the best foundations at the drugstore. In fact, one of the best foundations of all time. So once I get through what I already have, this is definitely one that I would repurchase. So time
time to let it go. All right, we have the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation, medium to full coverage. I actually really like this foundation. It looks really beautiful on the skin. However, I don't reach for this and I really don't know why. I feel like I should almost get rid of something so that I can keep this. And I don't know what it would be. Honestly, it would be between the Uoma. That's what I would say. These two are kind of head to head. I'm gonna put Morphe in maybe, because again, like I said, I really, really like it, but I don't reach for it, but I don't know if I'm quite ready to get rid of it yet. So we're gonna put her in the maybe pile. The Too Faced Do You, look at, I have three of these. In fact, I don't know why I have two of them in golden beige. I can, well, one of them is older. Why did I buy a new one of these? It must have been on sale. In 2019, this was like one of my favorite foundations. I wore this foundation constantly and I actually wore it in my wedding. This was my wedding foundation. In the summertime, if you want like a dewy full coverage look, Oh my goodness, absolutely this foundation. It is very long wearing, it really is. I wore, like I said, I wore this on my wedding through like 83 degree weather. I wore this all day, wore it out to the after wedding festivities, dinner, the night that we went out to Times Square, the whole deal, I got married in New York. Probably mentioned that when I talk about Times Square. But this foundation was just a total trooper. I, I wore this actually the entire time I was in New York. This and my L'Oreal Infallible was the only foundation that I packed. And this is what I reached for every time. Um, I have the shade Almond and I have the shade Golden because I do mix the two of them. I'm gonna get rid of this one. So at least we're getting rid of one because this one is almost gone. And this is the oldest, I think. I think I've had that one for a long time. So we are gonna go ahead and let that one go bye-bye. Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one because it is hands down my favorite matte foundation of all time. It is so good, nothing beats this. So that's definitely staying. We have the Huda Beauty Glowish multi Dew Skin Tint. I really like this, but again, I'll be honest, I have other products now that do a very similar thing. Like this is absolutely beautiful on the skin. It is super dewy and glowy. But you know what? Again, like I said, I have things that are similar to it that I like better now. So believe it or not, I think I am actually gonna go ahead and let this one go. I think this might have actually made appearances in my favorites videos, but she's been dethroned. I reach for other things. It's hard, I'm gonna say goodbye. The Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, another one that made an appearance in my Ulta haul. I have been obsessed with this. It's like the best tint, like it really is. This is beautiful on the skin and it's under $7. Mind completely blown. That one is not going anywhere. Next we have the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint. This one is another one I just purchased recently and will definitely be holding on to. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is hands down one of the best tinted moisturizers. I do have two different shades. I have Buttercream and I have Bamboo. Buttercream is probably closer to the shade that I am now, but this is definitely a summer product for me. This is something that I reach for all the time in the summer. The other shade I have is Bamboo, and so I'm gonna hold on to bamboo and I think I'm gonna go ahead and let go of buttercream. The Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation. I actually really like this foundation and I definitely do recommend this product, but I have so much foundation as you can see. And I just have so many other things that I use before this. It is beautiful. If you are in the market for a hydrating serum-like foundation that feels very lightweight on the skin and is very hydrating and you don't wanna break the bank, I definitely recommend this one for sure. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because I just have I have too much, I have too much. All right, last but not least, we have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Full Coverage Foundation. Without a doubt, staying in my collection, this is one of the only hydrating full coverage foundations that I own that offers this type of coverage. Like this is like next level full coverage. This will cover anything. So when I want something like that, but I don't wanna look dry and cakey, this is what I reach for. All right, you guys, so here is what we are getting rid of. I am so proud of myself. I am literally getting rid of over half of my foundation collection. That, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to let go of these products. I did include the maybes in this pile because they're not for sure. So they are going to be included in the discard pile for the purpose of 
what I'm trying to clear out here. I'm actually really happy with this. That means I held on to less than 20 products, which is fantastic. Hopefully as time goes on, I can edit down even further, but oh my goodness, does it feel so good to make room in my drawers and not have to rifle so much product to try to find what I need because that is kind of the biggest headache. And it's a lot easier for me as a creator so that I can actually hone in on what I like, keep track of what I'm trying. And this is honestly something that I should do way more often. So out with the old, in with the new. If you enjoy these declutters, please be sure to give a massive thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more, comment down below what you would like to see me declutter next. As always, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.